In this video, we will go over the discrete classification workflow. We will see both the manual classification workflow and the automated k-means classification workflow. And I'll jump to patrol. Here we have a poor perm plot for some wells and we want to run a discrete petrophases classification from this plot. So in this plot we want to isolate clusters and we have some tools that can help us identify clusters so first of all I can toggle on the histogram data of the X and Y axis data we can manipulate the plot here a little bit so from these histograms we see that we have one distribution of permeability and a bimodal porosity distribution so we have kind of two porosity distributions in this plot and furthermore we can toggle on the point density contouring so we will see contours of point density in the cross plot so from this cross plot we can see that we have three clusters three main clusters so we have two reservoir cluster types and then a cluster with some poor stuff down here before we start doing the manual a discrete classification workflow we need to go in and specify a discrete template so that is done here in the uh, investigation panel so the discrete templates in the investigator is called a classification group so we will add a new classification group we can either choose one of the pre-existing standard petrol templates or we can build our own and we're going to do that in this case so we said that we have three clusters so we will add three classes we'll call them reservoir one yellow is good reservoir two like this and none reservoir we'll color that brown like this so now we have the discrete classes ready and now we want to go in and isolate the clusters <coughs> we go to the filter button and we don't use the filters but we do use the classified regions so my favorite is the polygon solution here we've got good control over where we click so that was one, two, and three. And now we need to assign the classes to these regions. So this is my reservoir one. This is my reservoir two and this is my non-reservoir and now we can color the plot by the classification groups so you see where we have overlap between the different regions one of them takes precedence if you would like to change that order we can go in and change the order of the regions so you, here you see that reservoir 1 takes precedence over reservoir 2 we can change that by moving that up like this I'll just move it back alright so we can check how that looks in a well section window so let me open up my well section window display the investigation in the well section window and let's go in to the patrol window style and color by classification group and let's untoggle the unclassified points so now you see we can see where these different clusters 
they will fall in the well section window and as we've seen before when we update the cluster regions we will see the updates immediately in the well section window so you can adjust your regions accordingly when you're satisfied you can right click on one of the points and hit save as classified now we're saving this as a discrete log so we'll go here to the global logs you see we've got the classification group log here and we can toggle it on like this so here you have the basis of your uh, petrophases interpretation we also have the automated classification workflow the k-means classification workflow so let's just go back and untoggle these manual regions <coughs> so to run the k-means classification again we go to the filter button classification regions we go down to create k-means classification the only input it needs is the number of clusters that we would like to identify so in this case we would like to isolate three clusters and we hit OK and the k-means classification does a pretty good job of identifying pretty much the same clusters we did manually the clusters have to be relatively well defined for the k-means classification to work properly so again we can go and display this in the well section window so we want to go back and control the coloring so now the coloring will be the k-means classification and we need to go down and specify the regions like this and again as with the manual uh, with the manual regions we can go in and modify and you will see the updates immediately that was the discrete classification workflow Thank you very much for watching.